Hello and welcome to the recap of the Snapback Video Effects Basic Masterclass. My name is Veronique and today we will do a basic video effects tutorial, but we will continue to bring you updated content monthly. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please keep in mind that this method we are showing off today is simply creating a very basic overlay. However, if you have experience with more advanced programs, such as Premiere Pro or After Effects, you can simply export your animation with transparency and upload it here in the overlay section of the master settings. Alternatively, for those looking for custom animations, we have partnered with Photobooth Graphics and you can find the link to their website in the description down below. Let's jump in. To start, click Create Event. Then on the next page, click Create Enterprise Event. Now you can select the various features to enable on your event. For this tutorial, we are only going to select Video Effects and click Next. Now we want to enter all the event info related to this event. Things like event name, start dates, and end dates. Please bear in mind that events can last up to 48 hours if you are on a per event basis. Let's click next to proceed to the next step. Here you can select the various options to enable on your event. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to enable email, text, airdrop, and microsites. Microsites are great for sharing. Lastly, let's enter an admin password to protect the event. This will be used to exit out of the event on your device. Now click next so we can edit the email settings. On the email settings page, click template library. And then on the edit the template email three, click edit templates. This will open up the email template editor. You can edit anything that is inside of the green dotted lines as shown here. For now, I will just replace the logo and then click done. For events that will have videos, I would recommend selecting a microsite link and then selecting attach file. You can also select the link image, which will make the image preview clickable and send the guests the microsite when clicking the image in the email. From there, guests would be able to download the videos. This is great in case your attached file is too large for the email. Let's click next and continue to text messages. For text messaging, you can replace the text here. and then click next. On the app experience page, click on attract screen library and then select one of the videos you would like best for your event. We have a library of templates and we are constantly adding more. I would recommend hiding the retake button and the exit button from your event so that the guests are not able to exit the event. Hiding the title banner will hide this area here. Let's go ahead and click next to continue. On the microsite page, you will need to click microsite template library and select one of the templates that you would like for your event. Click edit template to open up the microsite builder. It will work the same way as the email template, whereby anything that is inside of the green dotted lines, you will be able to replace with your own branding or text. 
I will replace the top logo image as well as the bottom one. You can click done to continue. You can select the various microsite sharing options as well as hide the gallery button. Then click next. On the video effects template page, we will click create a new template. I will be naming this template a video effects template. Now for the resolution. I will select the square template. But please note that we have recently added a variety of sizes, so make sure you select the one that works best for your event. And then select the frame rate. For this example, we will choose 30 frames per second. Check out the article below to see the best settings for various frame rates. You can also upload a soundtrack. If you would like to hear your soundtrack playing while the app records at your event, you would just click play preview while recording. Next step, click the recordings tab and now set the recording duration to 6 seconds. Next, click timeline. On the timeline, you will need to add 3 app recorded videos. Now we will adjust the three videos so that we have a total duration of 12 seconds. For the first app recorded video, we will make it four seconds by setting the playback range to two seconds and the speed multiplier to half a speed, 0.5. Next, we will make the second app recorded video two seconds by setting the playback range from two seconds to four and a half second at a speed multiplier of 1.25. Finally, we can then make the third app recorded video six seconds by adjusting the playback range from four and a half seconds to six seconds at a speed multiplier of 0.25. And here we are done with creating the template. So now simply click save. Now you can click next. If you're already at this point, you can pay for the event, but I'm just going to click pay later. And that's it. The event is successfully set up. You will be able to continue editing the video effects template by scrolling down and clicking video effects templates. From here, we will go to Canva and create an animated overlay. This tutorial will require Canva. I have one of the overlays ready here, but you can find a link to the template in the description if you want to follow along. This is how it looks. You can see how the leaves are moving from left to right. The color version will be used as the overlay and the black and white version as the mask. Let's start by creating a new template and then selecting a custom size. Set the aspect ratio to 1 to 80 by 1 to 80 and then click create new design. From here, you can search for an animated overlay of your choice like tropical greenery and look for nice flowers that we can use. You can be creative here and select one that stands out for you. Next, you would select the text and delete it as we only need the flowers. I will make the flowers larger and then move them down to the bottom of the frame. We are doing this to provide space to effectively frame the subjects. 
Now you can duplicate this layer by clicking copy and paste. Take the duplicate and move it upwards to the top of the frame. You can see how they have different flowers, which is what we want. Now we need to duplicate this layer and rotate it, so we have different overlapping flowers to create the effect you saw in the preview. We would do the same thing with the bottom part of the template and then bring it down a little. Next, we need to change the background to black. Then click on the leaves and click animate. We will look for drift and we will apply drift for all of the flowers individually creating a really nice effect, as you can see here. It is important to note that you can really get creative and choose any animation you like so that your end product is unique. Let's preview this to see how it looks so far. We will now change the animation duration to 12 seconds to match our video duration inside of Snapback. Make sure you preview it to be sure that we are not losing the flowers after a specific amount of movement. Great! From here, you would click Duplicate Page and then adjust the flowers to create the mask that we showed in the preview. Click Edit Image and then move the brightness all the way to 100 and then move Contrast all the way to 100 as well so that the layer turns completely white. We will do this for all of the flowers. For those of you not familiar with masks inside of Snapic, Anything that is white will show what is behind it. And in this example, that would be the flowers. Similarly, anything that is black will be replaced with transparency. Amazing, we have now created an overlay and a mask. The next step is to download this template. What you would do is click share here in the top right, then download. Next, toggle all pages to deselect all. And then select the first template. Now click done and then download. This ensures that you have each layer downloaded separately. Next, name this overlay. The last thing you have to do is download page 2, which is the mask using the same method. Finally, name it mask and you are done and we can move on to the next step. We are now done with Canva. The next step will be to upload this on the Snapic dashboard. So let's go back to our event and head over to the master settings on your video effects template. From here, you are simply going to upload the overlay that you have just exported from Canva. This will be the color version. Similarly, we have, up we have uploaded the black and white mask here. Please note that if you have pre-roll or post-roll videos and you don't want this overlay to be placed over them, then make sure to select this option. Now that we're done, we can click save. And finally, save changes.
We want to test this out, so let's click on Actions and enable test mode and start the event on the iPad or iPhone so that we can test the template. And this is how the final export will look. Once we know that, it, that the template looks good, we can go back to Canva. Let's open our template back up and choose from a stock video on Canva to replace in the background. Next, we are going to want to enlarge it and then set it back so that we can see the animation over the video. And from here, we can download it. And finally, name it Preview Video. Once we have our preview video ready, we can check the size. And if needed, we would need to compress it to five megabytes. I would recommend using a tool called Handbrake, which we have linked in the description down below. Okay, once Handbrake is open, click open source and search for the file we just named preview video. Open it and then under preset, select to render it for web. Then choose Vimeo 720. Now let's rename this and then click start. It will then compress the file so that we can easily upload it into Snapic. Let's check to see the file size now. As you will see, it is much smaller. Perfect. Now we can upload it to our event. Inside your event, head over to the video effects template. Here you can click on the X in the corner of the preview video block. Then click Upload. Select your file that you just compressed with Handbrake and wait for it to upload. Once you're done, click Save. Then Save Changes. And you're done. If you have any additional questions, please contact us on the live support chat. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope this masterclass summary was super helpful. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get all the latest Snapic content. For upcoming classes, check the link in the description down below.